another episode of ASFN. Once again, thank you guys a lot for subscribing to our videos, to, to the channel and liking all the videos. We really appreciate all the support we're getting from you guys. Today we've got some, some new fans. These guys are die-hard, die-hard ASFN fans. We've got the guys coming all the way from Foxton. This is the us today. So we've got three leaders here. We've got Duncan there. All you guys know German. Right. Yeah, today we're going to be doing a lot of edible fishing and not edible as well. Down here at Absolubi. So I'm going to get the guys stuck in some good fish. We're going to be scratching first for some uh, bronze beam, flying for the brusher, all the time for some pump, and then we're putting some big baits out for some sharks. So during the course of the day, we're going to start droning out, and we're also going to be sliding some baits as well, and as well as throw baits. Water's going to be very nice. Like I said, we're here at Absolubi. Water's perfect, so yeah. Uh, so bait, get stuck on the fish. See you guys soon. We've got some nice baits for the guys as well. We're showing them how to make a bronze beam place. Exactly where we're be fishing. Two target bronze beam. So yeah, let's get these guys stuck into the fish. I'll wake up, put my trace on, and then I'll help them do their trace. And I'll put them on the certain areas to get fish. And as soon as they want, I'll show you guys what these guys can do. So I, I have good faith in them. I know the guy's gonna be landing some good fish today. Like I said, the water's very really nice. So let's get stuck into some fish. Northeast uh, start the pump now. Not so heavy, but it's okay. Fishable. But yeah, it's an ideal, ideal temperature for the ground wind. Uh, it'll feed nicely in this type of condition too. So we can keep trying here and see. Like I said, it's my first throw. First throw in. Hope I can get a nice pull. There's a lot of areas we actually can't fish. So we're going to be walking to the spot. Have a throw here. Keep waiting for 10 minutes. If there's no pull, move to the next spot. Keep trying that way there. Landy, eh? After a while of scratching in this windy weather, finally managed to get a nice size bronze beam. Actually took me on a uh, prawn and crayfish bait. Yeah, there was a lack of fights. Let's just get him in a pool and try for something better. We haven't got a nice bronzy there. Uh, we were moving spots as we were going along. Like I said earlier, we're going to keep a bait in the water every 10 minutes. We don't get a pull, take it out, try a different spot. And uh, I told Jevon and Duncan to actually come down this way and fish here. Jevon had a pull there earlier and he managed to land that one nice bronzy. So now we've got all the guys here because I actually want to get uh, Peter, Duncan and Clint as well on the fish. So we here more towards the rocks now, towards the diver pool. Nice grounds. So we're all putting baits in this area, that's exactly where Jevon got his bronze as well. And get them stuck into a good fish. Uh, Northeast is still pumping. So fishing more on those bays wasn't so good for us because... Uh, is that uh, fish on there? Looks like. It looks like Peter's on the fish there. Ah, uh, you had some prawns on, yeah? That's it. <sighs> Guys, we brought the bronzy this side. As you release it, they might spook the other fish. So we just bring it about 200 meters away, just so it doesn't spook the other fish. That's why we released it away from the others. Hey guys, I managed to get Peter on a fish. So I decided to come far away from them, and I kept him in the one spot. And I got this nice bronzy here. I'm fishing a bit of a bigger bait. That's a nice bronzy we got. Lovely, lovely fish. So I'm actually going to get him back. Put another bait and see if we get another one. I'm going to keep him in the rock pools. There's nice rock pools here. 
I'm just gonna log him there. He goes. I still wanna get uh, Duncan put in the fish. So I'm actually gonna bring them this side because uh, the water's nice. Alright guys, I'm just gonna show you the quick bait demo that I on the bait that I use to catch that bronzy. Very straightforward. Get on prawn, get them from at camp. Lovely, lovely uh, bait. What I do is I take the head off, I de shell it. The head on prawns, we find a whole a lot of flavor. And uh, always works best if you're targeting prawns. I was fortunate enough uh, down here at Jepson, there's a big shortage of the head on prawn. And Andre was ever so kind this morning when I stopped by him to give me some prawns and it worked I've still got white prawn there that I'm using as well white prawn, the white prawn we are getting bites on them as well but the head on is the best so what I do is after I split him in the center place it in the hook I turn the prawn inside out like that now this is a new cotton that actually came out it's called Fish SA a lot of guys have been using it nice cap it's got um, using the thin this is a thin. That's what I normally use when I'm targeting bronze beam. You'll notice on all your soft baits, I'll use very, very thin cotton. And on your bigger baits, when you're bulking big baits for your sharks and stuff, you'll go with a thick. Uh, if it's normal chocker and stuff, and, uh, and red eye, fish of a cob, you'll go with medium. But soft baits like this, thin cotton. As you guys can notice, I'm not putting a lot of cotton. Just a little just to keep it a bit straight and here at the back is where I'm gonna really really bind it just to make it stay straight and because this is thin cotton it's uh, it's very soft very very soft couple half inches and that's my bait done so I get this cotton off my hands it's a nice prawn bait keep it nice and straight mind the sand there guys, my hands got a bit of sand for picking up the cotton. But that's the bait I'm going to be using. And that's the bait I actually got that pull on. So I'm going to throw this in the water, get another pull. Get it out there and see what it is. Okay, give him a bit of line, so okay. drop your rod, okay. go forward, see, let him swim out. Okay, pick up, pick up. There you go. Chocker combo to catch this beautiful little bronze green. Let's get him back into the water as soon as possible. Yeah. There's a lovely rock pool here, you can actually put him in a rock pool there. Okay. Guys, the reason why we don't put the fish back is if we put it back now it'll scare scare the school that's there. So we're just gonna keep him in a little pool and then once we've done we'll we'll put them all back. Small guy. Let's get the hook out quickly. As you can 
you guys can see the muscle got it perfect. Nice bronzy. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Yeah, guys, we're gonna get this guy back. 